G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining me today. I've just been to China with my son, Matt. We came back with PP Boy. Now, PP Boy is a Chinese thermometer used to test whether the tea is hot enough. I've got some hot tea in here and I'm gonna pour some water on PP Boy. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Look, <laughs> look at that. PP Boy, Pees away. Woohoo! <laughs> pee pee boy. Pour the hot water onto pee pee boy. <laughs> oh. Now, you want to know how he works? Well, it's all about heat and expansion of air. Got this little conical flask here, it's got a rubber seal in it and it's got a glass tube in it like that. And in actual fact, it's an awful lot like PP Boy. The only hole into PP Boy is his And um, when you buy him, he's actually got nothing in him. And it's actually pretty hard to work out how to actually get the water in him in the first place. If you just get some yellow water, um, and if I pop this in like this, basically, Nothing happens. No water, well, maybe a little bit of water. A little tiny bit of water goes in, but then as soon as you bring it out, it goes out again. Somehow you have gotta get water into this flask or water into the PP boy. So to do that, you actually need some really hot water to start with. So you get some really hot water to start with. Now, if I push this flask into the hot water, What's going to happen is the hot water is going to expand the air on the inside of this flask. And as you can see, the hot air is coming out of the end of this little nozzle here. So the hot air is expanding and it's pushing out. I might even turn it over a bit like that. This way, we can't actually see the air coming out, unfortunately. But I'm sure it is coming out. I'm sure hot air is shooting out here. And when I think it's been long enough, then I'm going to invert it into the cold water. I'll invert it into the cold water. And what is now happening is the air on the hot air on the inside of this flask is actually cooling down. The hot air is cooling down, and as it cools down, it contracts, it takes up less space. And so now water is actually coming in through the nozzle and is actually starting to fill up this flask. Water is definitely going in. And so now, woo, when I pull it out, I've actually got some water in that flask. Just like I had some water in PP Boy. And so, what's gonna happen if I pour hot water onto it? If I pour hot water onto it, Hey, I've got my own PP boy. Look at that. The hot water expands the air on the inside, pushing out or pushing down the water, which causes my own little PP boy to do a pee. Here we go. Woohoo! Nice projectile motion there and a good flow rate. Well, I've just run out of water. So, really, what I need to quickly do is recharge him by putting him back in the cold water. So after you've used PP Boy, you should actually put it straight back into cold water so that he refills. Now, what would happen if you put something else apart from water into PP Boy? What about, there we go, see how it's recharged? See how there's water back in there? And now we can go again, if we want. Here we go, we can go again. Get the hot water. Pour it on, and off it goes again. I've got a dry PP boy, and the first thing I need to do is pop him into some hot water. Anyway, so he's heating up, the air in him is expanding, and what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get some methylated spirits, which is really flammable, really dangerous too. I'm gonna to put it in this little flask, Alright, so I'll put the methylated spirits in this little beaker and he's nice and hot. 
So all the air is expanded now. And now I'm going to pop him in to the cold methylated spirits, like so. And as he cools down, methylated spirits is going to go into his pippy hole. Okay, so I get him out of the metho. Pop him here. Put some hot water on him. Oh! Oh, sugar! <laughs> Let's pop him back in. Recharge him. Oh man, that was a bit dangerous. Who is here? Here's the flammable trail of metal aid spirits waste. Pour the hot water on. And. <laughs> Whoa! Got a bit of backflow in there. Woo! So, <laughs> flammable PP pee -pee boy. Don't try that one at home. Anyway, thanks heaps for joining me. Make sure when you go to China, you buy your own little PP pee -pee boy. He's pretty cool. Alright, see you later.